Cameroon. Central Africa's potential rice granary. While Cameroon is renowned worldwide as the land of the indomitable lions, and is often described as Africa in miniature because of its rich diversity of climate, ecology, landscape and culture. Few are aware that the country has huge potential to not only achieve rice self-sufficiency, but to also become the rice granary of the Central African subregion. The country is endowed with large swaths of arable land, abundant water resources and favorable agroclimatic conditions that offer high potential for rice production. Recognizing the agribusiness potential, and in response to the food crisis that severely affected Cameroon in 2008, the government is taking measures to revitalize the rice sector. Several donors, such as the World Bank, IFAD, JUCA, AFDB, and FAO are supporting the government's efforts to improve food security. Rice is increasingly becoming a commodity of strategic significance in Cameroon fueled by shifts in consumer preferences and rapid urbanization. With the resurgence of interest in the rice sector in recent years, rural infrastructure in the country including irrigation structures, milling and processing facilities and farm-to-market access roads is being strengthened. Government parostatals, such as SEMRI, in the far north region of Cameroon, and UNVDA, in the northwest region, are being revamped to support rice farmers. UNVDA supports about 13,000 rice farmers, facilitating their access to improved seed, fertilizer, herbicide, information, and capacity building as well as equipment hiring services for farm operations. Ms. Lillian Yakunto, Chief Officer, UNVDA, remarked, We build canals and dams for the farmers. UNVDA multiplies the foundation seed of improved rice varieties received from IRAD and provides those to farmers at subsidized rates. UNVDA also provides a market to the farmers by buying rice from them. Mr. Aiko Thea Francis, a rice farmer from DOP, said, Thanks to the UNVDA support, he has been able to pay school fees for his children and medical bills from the sale of his rice harvest, highlighting the important role of research in the revival of the rice sector, IRAD Director General Dr. Noy Vaughan said. The government recognizes the need to support a strong research and development program to develop improved technologies that can be made available to smallholder farmers to help raise their output and income. IRAD has been collaborating with international partners to develop improved rice varieties and innovative growing techniques to increase rice productivity in the subregion. Africa rice scientist Dr. Marie Noel Jean Jop said. So we use the molecular approach to identify the resistant gene and we use the marker associated to the resistant gene to introgress that gene into popular varieties which are susceptible to the virus. And uh, those varieties were chosen in close collaboration with our national partner, including Cameroon, and also with breeder at, at Africa Rice. However, despite all the efforts, serious constraints still limit rice expansion and intensification in the country. These include lack of quality seed and adequate equipment for labor-intensive tasks. The sector is also faced with challenges relating to post-harvest operations and processing, leading to low competitiveness of local rice. Chief of UNVDA Rice Mill Service, Mr. Gong Agboise, said, Rice production has been unable to keep pace with the increasing demand. Data from USDA and FAO indicate that the rice self-sufficiency ratio has been less than 20% over the last few years. In 2012, Cameroon produced about 102,000 tons of paddy rice, or 64,000 tons of milled rice and had to import up to 375,000 tons of rice to meet its demand. 
the National Rice Development Strategy drafted in 2009. Within the framework of CARD has an ambitious aim to raise the level of domestic production to over 627,000 tons by 2018. Rice is still a relatively new crop in certain areas of Cameroon, although local populations in the far north, northwest, and west have a long tradition of rice cultivation. Rice producer from Tonga, Mr. Bami Bakamu Felix said, homage is paid annually to the farmer who introduced rice in the region. The taste of local rice is preferred in Tonga by some consumers over imported varieties, according to a rice seller, Mr. Punda Savren. When quality concerns are met, they are prepared to pay a premium for local varieties. One of the main constraints for the Cameroon rice sector is the long distance between the location of the major rice production facilities and the main cities which are filled with imported rice rather than Cameroon-made rice. Dr. Yoshimiso K. Jacob, advisor, based in Yaoundé, said. And uh, we need to increase in produce the domestic rice in Cameroon. Jaika has therefore launched a program to support mainly the production of upland rice in the center, south, and east regions of Cameroon, so that people living in these areas can eat their own rice. Collaborative research is helping address some of the challenges, such as the innovative CFC-funded project on improving the competitiveness of local rice in Central Africa. It is carried out by Africa Rice and national partners from Cameroon, Central African Republic and Chad, with the aim of building rural enterprises through the development of co-sharing mechanisms. To ensure competitiveness, one-stop shop quality processing centers were established to enhance quality along the whole value chain from seed, through milling, sorting, and packaging, to marketing. Ms. Dorothy Mala, National Project Coordinator from IRAD, said. Rice value chain in one room. You have quality seat at the entrance, and at the outlet, you have ready food to eat. Upland and lowland Narica varieties selected through participatory varietal selection were introduced with improved crop management practices. This was followed by the establishment of a seed program, post-harvest technologies, processing activities, commercialization, and linkages with input dealers and microfinance institutions. Mr. Valentin Usi, trader and president of NDOP Quality Processing Center's Management Committee said, Rice is a profitable commodity and there is a high demand for it. Quality rice, rice bran, and byproducts are sold to both wholesalers and retailers. The production and marketing of rice flour has opened up new opportunities for women farmers who can process and sell rice based products. The Quality Processing Center in Ndop, Northwest Cameroon, which was inaugurated in August 2013 by the Cameroon Minister of Scientific Research and Innovation, testifies to the success of this model. Cameroon is one of eight pilot countries that are partnering in a pioneering Canada-funded project to enhance the quality and marketability of locally produced rice through improved harvest and post-harvest technologies. The project, which is carried out by Africa Rice and its partners, will offer opportunities to local households to raise their incomes by promoting the development of improved rice par boiling equipment, new rice-based products, fortified food items using rice and rice byproducts. Ms. Ngaelian, Food Technology Lab of Irad said, Comme uh, les biscuits de riz ne sont pas riches en minéraux, nous avons donc voulu incorporer la poudre de safou. The findings of the applied research activities will feed into national and regional agricultural policies relating to the rice sector. Africa Rice Project Coordinator Dr. Jean Moreira said, Et un renforcement de capacité, on a aujourd'hui des Camerounais qui sont dans les circuits de PhD. The Cameroon rice sector is increasingly benefiting from collaborative or 4D activities carried out by Africa Rice and its partners with support from several donors, including the AFDB, CFC, Canada, EU, Japan, Bodega, 
the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and by the Global Rice Science Partnership, GRISP, a CGIAR research program on rice. IRAD is involved in all the Africa-wide rice task forces covering breeding, agronomy, processing, and value addition, mechanization, policy, and gender in line with its priorities. It has welcomed the approach of the rice sector development hubs to achieve greater coherence and impact and has identified three hubs representing the main rice ecologies in Cameroon. With all these measures in place, Cameroon is well on its way to realize its vision for a high-quality rice sector serving the entire sub-region.